So what you see here is a topology where we have five, uh, six networks, four LANs and two WANs. The original range is given to you here, 192, 168, 10, slash 24. So we have eight bits in the original network. Your topology has got uh, four LANs and two WANs. Network A, you need 50 holes. Network B, 22. Network D, 10. And network C, 8. What we're going to do here is going to do first the subnetting and then configuration of all ports. We're going to configure LANs and WANs. Uh, as usual, we start with the largest one, 88 hosts. I believe you all know now 88 hosts needs to, uh, 7 bits minimum, right? The prefix should be 25. So if I start from this network, I believe the IP address is going to be 192.168.10 slash 25. This network is going to go all the way from 192.168.11 and the broadcast is going to be 192.168.1127. Good. So the next network is going to start at 192.128. The next network in size is network A. And here we finished at 127, so we're going to start at 128. So network A, uh, we can give it, uh, of course, the subnet mask is going to be 26. Do you all agree on that? Okay, so I'm going to go here and type the network address is going to be 192.168.128, but the prefix is going to be 26, 6 bit minimum. So our network is going to go from 192.168.129, first usable address, to the last usable address, 192.168.191. You all agree on 191, good? Okay, so this is the for the second network. The third network is going to be B. B is going to start from 192. How many bits we do we need for B? Five bits, right? Okay, four is not enough. So this network is going to be 192, 168, 192, 168, 1, 192, slash 27. Yes or no? Yes. Slash 27 is going to start at... Uh, 192 is going to finish at 223. So it's going to go from 192.168.1193 and the broadcast address is going to be 192.168.1223. Any question? Good. So now we have the last LAN. Last LAN has 10 hosts. So the minimum number of host bits is 4, right? And we are starting from 224, Muhammad, right? So we start from 224. If we start from 224, we're going to take like uh, 192, 168, 1, 224, and this is going to be slash 28. Is that right? Yes. Okay. It's going to be from 192, 168, 1, 225 to 192, 168, 1, 239. You all agree on this range? Yes. Good. Excellent. So we're going to take this range here now. Now we have two ones. I have told you before that WANs need slash 30, two bits. Two bits means four addresses, one for network, one for broadcast. And the other two addresses will be given to both sides of the network. So we stopped at 239. The next address is 240. We're going to give this 11240. Okay. 192, 168, 1240 slash what? 30. So we have only two addresses to give to serial ports. And for 12, is going to start at 244. You all know why 12 is going to start at 244. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good. Excellent. 192.168.1244 slash what? 30. Slash 30 means the subnet mask is going to be 255, 255, 255, 252. Good. Excellent. So we take this close to this one and this one close to this one. Now, uh, for the WANs, for example, 240 is the network, 243 is the broadcast, so we can give 241 to this port and 242 to this port. Same thing applies to the other one, 245 to this port and 246 to that port. Let us start with the largest network, which is network C. I need to configure the router. You see, I gave you the ports of the uh, uh, default gateway. What address do you suggest to be given to the router? 192.168.11, either the first one or the last one. What is the subnet mask? Slash 25. It's going to be 255, 255, 255, 128. Yes or no? So I'm going to configure both F, F00 for network C and F104 network what? D. 
Be careful when you use the subject mask. Click on this one. Okay, good. We see both now. Enter. Enable. Conf D. Interface FA00. For network 1. The range is clear to you. Okay, so I give IP address. 192.168.11.255.255.128. You all agree on this one? Excellent. No shot. Now I go to the second port, which is F10. F10 is for uh, this network. What's the first usable address? 225, right? Yeah. And uh, what's the subnet mask? It's slash 28. Slash 28 means 255, 255, 255, 240. Does that make sense, Jasim? Yeah. Okay. So I need to go to the other board inter uh, interface FA10. IP address 192.168.1. 225, 255, 255, 245, 240. Yes. No shot. So I configured both what? Both default gateway ports for out for LANs, right? So if you go to this PC, Muhammad, BC3, you can give it any address in this range, right? So I can go to BC3 now, desktop. I can give it a static address 192.168.1, for example, 5. Subnet mask is 128, right? And the very important thing is what is the default gateway, right? Okay. If I go to, uh, now I can ping the default gateway from this, this PC. It should work. I don't see any problem why it doesn't work. Okay. So the PC can reach its default gateway. I can go to this PC also, configure the right IP address. Any IP address in this network range is fine. I go to the IP default 192.168.1.230. Is 2.30 part of this network, guys? For, for BC2, yes. What's the subnet mask? 2.40, right? What's the default gateway? 192.168.1.225. We give it this address. It should also ping its default gateway. Now we go to the third network, network A. We start at... Uh, Network A, guys, by the way, starts at 128, not 126, right? You should have corrected me. Okay, I go now. FA00 belongs to network A. FA10 belongs to network B. So network A, we will give it 129 to the default gateway. And for network B, we'll give 193 to the default gateway. You just need to watch the subnet masks. Okay, we are on the second router. Enable, conf T. Interface FA00. Network A first. Make sure everything is visible to you. IP address 192.168.1129. Subnet mask, guys. 255.255.255.192. Does that make sense? No shot. Good. Okay, we'll go to the second port, which is this one. FA10 is going to be 193. And 27 is the prefix. Interface FA10, IP address 192.168.1.193. What is 257? Prefix is 257. So, prefix is slash 27. So, it's going to be 255, 255, 255, 224. Right? No shot. Okay, excellent. So, this one also should work. I can go to this one, to this PC and give it any IP address in the range, 192, 168, 1, 133, for example. Subnet mask is 192, and the default gateway is 192, 168, 1, 129, right? We'll test, uh, we'll test the ping, well, ping 192, 168, 1, 129, which is the default gateway for this network. It works properly. Now I go to the WANs. WANs will be the same same configurations. It is visible to you here which ports I'm using. Okay? We'll start with one one. We'll give 241 to this side and 242 to this side. I'm going to the first router. Uh, what is the port name? Serial 30. So interface serial 30. Good. IP address 192.168.1. 241, yes? 241. What's the subnet mask? 255, 255, 255, 252. And no shot. When it comes to WANs, you will not see the green, uh, the green connection until you do the other side of the WAN.
So we'll do to this one. See, the middle router, we need to configure 3.0 for the first one and what? 2.0 for the second one. We'll start for 3.0. Okay, no. Enable conf t interface serial 3.0. I gave 2.41 to this side. I need to give 2.42 to this side, right? Okay, IP address 192.168.1. 242, subnet mask is 255, 255, 252, no shot. At this moment, you see the connection becomes what? Active. I still need to do configure this port, right? And I'll give it which address? 245, and the other side will be given 246. Okay, so I go back to the same router, the middle one, interface serial 20 now, IP address 192.168.1. 245 guys, 255, 255, 255, 252, no shut. I go to the last router, I need to configure this port, I'll give it 246, interface serial, 20 this time, IP address 192.168.1246, no shut. Good? Okay, all the ports are configured. Ahmed Khadr, if I ask you, I need to give some interface VLANs. I need to give some management addresses for the switches. For any switch, you can give the, any valid address in the range, and you make sure you give the switch the default gateway. For example, let's go to this one, switch one. I'll give it some address like nine. Okay, let's see that. Enable, conf D. One command we studied, IB default gateway. You know this command? You give the switch the default gateway. What's the default gateway of network C? One, right? 192.168.11. So now the switch knows its default gateway. If someone outside the network contacts the switch, it knows how to reply. Okay, now I need to configure the VLAN interface for management. Interface VLAN 1. IP address, I'll give it 9. 192.168.1. 9, to, I'll use the same network, uh, 128 is the subnet mask, no shut. Okay, does that make sense? Now I can also communicate with the switch, either from inside the network or from outside the switch. And then it works. Let's do again for switch this one, switch 3. I'll use 139 for this switch, okay? And I need to give it the default gateway of the, net, of the LAN. Again, I go to the second switch, enable conf D. Okay, IP default gateway 192.168.1.129 for this network, right? Then interface VLAN 1, IP address 192.168.1.139. Is it a valid address in this LAN? Yes. What's the subnet mask of the LAN? 255.255.192 because it has slash 26. Is it slash 26? Yes. So now the switch knows the it's IP management address, that's it. Exit, exit, and let us stop recording.